Officer and all, the new ECF gradings are out, and I seem to have uh, a very good improvement in my local federation rating. Uh, here are all the league results. Uh, basically, my rating is currently now 212, um, which is the highest I've ever been, actually, um, since having a, a an ECF rating. Um, if we look at the last few uh, years, I'll just go back to this. So standard 212, rapid 216. Uh, but A class means, you know, over a certain amount of games, is you get the A um, class. So here you can see the last few years, uh, you know, I've never actually been, the red one uh, is um, the standard. I've never actually been ever over 200. Sometimes I was threatening to be over 200 back in uh, 2010. But yeah, I spectacularly seem to have jumped that threshold. So what happened, I was a bit lucky in the leagues, I think, uh, for my board position. Uh, but in this, in the North Circle, it wasn't very impressive. I, I was struggling in that league. I uh, had had some hard draws, only a couple of wins. One of those was very lucky. And and this loss, which I had unfortunately a paracetamol before the game, about two hours before, and I think it did affect me. I I don't even remember what I had analysed during the game, so it was hard to even do a video of this of this game. But in the knockout, I did. I was a bit lucky in one of these at least. Um, yeah, I think luck was a very important part of it in the knockout there. In the main Hearts League, uh, against good opposition, I, I did v very well here with only um, a couple of losses. And this loss was actually on an adjudicated position, which maybe was playable if I'd played it on, if I'd elected to play it on. It just so happened that I went home and it, the evaluation was... Uh, like nearly plus two to the opponents, I, res I kind of resigned it. But I should have elected perhaps to play that on. In this one, I, w I didn't even have such a bad position. I thought I had a very good position at one point and kind of blew it. But it was instructive for, for looking at end game transitions, and that was against a very strong uh, player. Uh, it just made me think about end game transitions later on. In, in the Middlesex uh, League, against slightly lower average opposition, um, it was just uh, there, were, there were no losses. It was just one draw and several uh, wins. I don't know if I can scroll to that. Actually, it's difficult to scroll to that. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty shocked with this two one twelve rating. So even my, my rapid is only slightly um, uh, better. I had I had a good couple of wins against Bachelor Peace Bachelor. Uh, John White, there was a loss here against Eames, who's an FM, uh, a draw against Eames. That was on 30 minute chess, but on standard, which is the main sort of thing, really, where most games are played. Um, this basically means that I might be in for a very difficult time if I'm playing on board one for two different chess clubs, Bonnet, Elizabethans, and Muswell Hill, but I think it will be a fun ride. I'm hoping to give you some very interesting content. Uh, in the in the next over the board season, probably uh, sometimes against IM opposition, uh, there's some IMs in in the uh, leagues or GMs, in fact, uh, because in the Middlesex league will be promoted to Division One, so they, there are actually some GMs in the Middlesex league. So I think it will be a very interesting ride to say the least, and I'll probably need to do some more concrete preparation if possible for certain opponents just to make sure. I don't want to have a situation where I get a bad opening position too much of the time. So it's it's been very interesting. I think um, so. Some of the theories I think um, for for me personally, I think are coming together, and um, I think um, the double-edged sword concept really helps me bring together different ideas, uh, the ways of looking at positions. Uh, if you want to check out that video in particular, I think you know since I've been you know using this idea of trying to use multiple perspectives it really has helped my chess personally but I think in if you're playing in in league games a lot of the time obviously your board position and the strength of opposition is, is a major major factor so if you're stuck on board one yeah you might get hammered even if you do play quite well so yeah I'm, I'm quite excited by this rating um, it also puts me in this top players list at um, I don't think you can see this on the screen though it's, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the screen, rank 105. I don't know if that's visible on screen. Um, okay, I hope, I hope it is when I check this after. 
So rank 105. Um, yeah, I, I'm just amazed uh, that, uh, yeah, I'm there. So uh, yeah, interesting, uh, interesting times to lie ahead for the upcoming over the board season. I hope to deliver even more interesting content for my own over the board games, uh, which might be useful to your own um, over the board chess. Okay, uh, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.